Hey guys, I'm Common Rider Silver, and today I'm going to be doing not a review, but a showcase on my custom NECA Dawn of the Planet of the Apes Caesar action figure. So, if you guys uh, know my channel, you know I love Planet of the Apes. Uh, some of my most uh, viewed videos are like my Planet of the Apes stop motions and reviews. So, I like Planet of the Apes, obviously you guys like Planet of the Apes, and one thing that I feel was really missing from that NECA line was just a regular Caesar, just a, a stoic, closed mouth Caesar that just looked, you know, how he looked in the movies. So that is what I have done today. I have taken the war paint version of Caesar. I'll put a picture right here. Um, he has, you know, the red on his face, the red on his chest, the white lines everywhere. Uh, the black around his eyes, and it's a super cool look. I'll probably, you know, buy another one of those. They're not super expensive, uh, but since he wasn't super rare, I really just wanted to make a Caesar that was just Caesar. So, this is not going to be a long video, but I just wanted to show off what I got here. So, basically what I did was I, let me bring in some lights so you can see. I went first, got a black and a brown, mixed it together to kind of match this body. And I basically just applied that black and brown all over the body, just so I could get rid of all that war paint. Did the same thing on the arms. Uh, it blended in pretty nicely. In some places after I applied the primer, it kind of came through again. But Caesar has, you know, some white in his fur, as I kind of did a little later but you'll see so all of that is gone all of that is good I switched his hands out for the gun holding Caesar because they don't have any war paint and then the most crucial part of this repaint was the face so I went in I matched his skin tone as good as I could and I just painted over all of the parts that had the black the white and the red Get up real close. So I painted all the parts that had the black, the white, and the red with that skin tone, which was just a mix of a peach color and a little bit of brown. And then I went in on the eyes, and they were already a little bugged out for mine. So if you see that they're a little lazy right now, it was just the original paint that was there. I just went and covered the brown parts with a green, like a lime green, and then put his pupils in to make it more accurate. And then I came in with a very small brush and just painted in a nice dark tone wash to really bring out all that, you know, aged, because he's 10 years older in Dawn than he was in Rise, so he's nice and aged now. Um, and then also, to kind of display that age, I, he has, in the movie, he has like these little gray flecks already coming in around his scalp and stuff. So, I really just went in and overhauled the face mainly because the body was nice and pretty much ready to go. It just needed a little bit of that black-brown color back on it, but that face, I think, came out just amazingly. I really like how that looks because... Like I said, I just wanted a regular Caesar. Um, really like how that looks. I took one of my older brushes that was kind of flaring up, and I put some of that same kind of fur tone up here, because uh, Caesar and pretty much every chimpanzee kind of has, you know, kind of some speckles towards the top. So I think that looks amazing. Let's see him with the spear. So to get a little bit of a closer look at him with his accessories, here is Caesar with his spear, and as... I mean, it's no different. The figure is literally no different. There's just a little bit more paint on him to make him look more regular. So I think with the spear, that looks really cool. He looks like, um, he I don't know, he looks very royal like this. I think his face, the face that NECA sculpted for this guy is very stoic, and I really like it. I just wanted it without the war paint. So there's that. The only other vanilla Caesar I had that doesn't have a screaming face portrait is the high S Caesar. Here he is right here, which I th am kind of wanting to turn into a blue eyes custom. He's got a kind of similar face structure. He just needs blue eyes and the scar, but yeah. 
So there you go, guys. A very simple video. Uh, I just know you guys like Plant of the Apes as well as I do. So I just wanted to showcase what I did um, these past few days and really how nice it can look with just a little bit of paint on them. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. We can chat anytime, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!